Wicked. Whoa, wicked. Whoa, wicked. Hey, hey, hey everyone, Ross Bersky here and welcome back to a New Age Battle League matchup. Now, the Minnesota Jinx, which is us, we are fresh off the back of a win against the 4th Gen Gamers, Long Island Gold Ducks. Today, guys, we're going to be battling against Ennister27, a fantastic guy, and his team is the Detro Detroit Cobalions. Now, that's a fantastic name, and his team looks pretty damn good as well. Now, I am absolutely pumped for this battle. I mean, we managed to get the first win of the season. We started off... Absolutely fantastically, and hopefully we can reach the very tippy top of this with another win today. So today our party is going to be starting off with sexy our butterfree. We're going to be having sock. We're going to be having Mr. Mime. We're going to be having Electro. We're going to have our V, our Torterra, and we're going to have lovely, lovely party boy, our Ludicolo. Ludicolo did fantastically last time, as did our V. Obviously, Electrode's in there to outspeed every single person and set up that rain dance so that Ludicolo can come in there and sweep everybody up with that swift swim. The only change in the party is uh, Mr. Mime is in the party instead of Politoed this time just because of the amount of Pokemon in his team. Um, scouting ahead of time, um, Ennistar's team, he had a, quite a lot of grass Pokemon uh, in the matchup. He has an Ivasaur, he has the uh, uh, the Vileplume in the party right ahead of us, so I didn't want to bring too many water Pokemon. Ennistar brings Vileplume, Seismitoad, Ninetales, Primeape, um, the Feraligator and Sand Slash. Straight away, the threats to the party. I didn't like the look of um, Vileplume, um, Feraligator, and probably Seismito. They're the ones I least, least like. So, let's just jump straight into this matchup. I uh, start off with none other than our Butterfree. I tried to go for the same tactic as last time. I want to try and set up a Butterfree and get as many kills as possible, but as we found out against Josh, we fucked up. Her, per sexy, just kept missing the, uh, the, the sleep powders. Now, he leads off with Sand Slash, which I kind of predicted. So, what I decided to go here for was I went for the substitute because I predicted that Ennistar would switch out and bring in his Vile Plume. He expected me to go for the Sleep Powder, and we dodged that. We got a very, very good prediction off there. So, we got the substitute off, meaning we get at least one guaranteed Quiver Dance off here, and maybe even Sexy can put in a little bit of work. So, here she is. Oh, oh, it's just so beautiful. She's just so beautiful. Anyway, we get up the uh, Quiver Dance and Ennister's just going to go straight for the sludge bomb, getting rid, unfortunately, of that substitute shoot. Now, that's fine. That is fine. We're going to go straight for the bug buzz because I'm not sure if we can take one of them or not. So we go for the bug buzz, getting as much damage off as possible. It takes off just over half along with the... Re we unfortunately take the recoil from the life orb and we try. Can we hold on this sludge bomb? We do hold on, but unfortunately, our luck ran out and he got the poison off. That was the first bit of bad luck in this battle, but we're going to persevere. Sexy is going to try and hold on and go for at least another quiver dance. Now, Vile Plume gets withdrawn here. He doesn't want to take another one of those hits. So Becca, his nine tails comes in, and hopefully we can do as much damage to um, the nine tails as possible. Because pretty much with the life orb recoil and the poison damage, we're gonna die here. But we take the Becca, the foxy nine tails, right down to very, very low health, which is absolutely fantastic. Because this guy has flash fire on him, he's he's really, really he, he scares me a little bit. We do have a lot of water Pokemon, but the Seismitoad might have water absorb. So this is why I was a little bit nervous here. We bring in Baller. We're going to outspeed no matter what here. We know that you're probably going to switch into um, Boil his Seismitoad because he's going to eat up any electric attacks. But we predicted that. We predicted well again. And we went for the Rain Dance. We want to try and get Ludicolo, our party boy, in as quickly as possible to start sweeping up all of these Pokemon. The Seismitoad really, really worries me. Anyway, Baller is time to go out. And we're going to bring in RV to eat up any Earth attacks that come our way. There we go. Sludge Wave comes in. He obviously um, maybe slightly predicted the fact that I might bring in Torterra there. I don't know. But we decide, just in case, I didn't want to use a grass move, just in case he brings in Vile Plume again. So I decided just to go for the Earth Attack and see what happens. I predicted right again, Dak comes back in, and we're going to go for the Earthquake. Hopefully that does enough damage to take away this Vile Plume. And then we could be in a very, very commanding position, because one of the Pokemon that threatens our water, guys, has gone. Disappeared. Finito, and he threatened Mr. Mime as well because of the fairy type in. Anyway, goodbye, dat, that vile plume. Org! Now, this guy is an absolute monster. I was worried. I decided to leave him in. I thought we could eat up one ice punch, even though we were four times 
I way too. I thought we could eat it up, but it didn't matter. I didn't really need Torterra here, so I kind of just wanted the clean switch in. And we're gonna find out one, he is life orb, and two, that is fine. Straight up, we bring in Ludicolo now. Now, I kind of predicted uh, wrong here. I went for the Ice Beam because I predicted maybe the. Um, he might not leave Org in here, so I didn't want to go for the Giga Drain straight away, which was a bad move because Ice Punch comes in. But can Ludicolo eat it up? Ludicolo eats that up. Now it's time. Now it is time for the Giga Drain, but the rain runs out. The Swift Swim has disappeared. Can we hold on? Ludicolo holds on with 7 HP. Org with a life orb recoil goes down to a beautiful, beautiful Giga Drain. We were so lucky there. A crit would have ended any sort of strategy we might have had. I'm relying at the moment on the swift swim of Ludicolo and the, the in tandem that we have got running with our uh, uh, electrode. Now, Alpha scares the fuck out of me. We need Ludicolo and we need um, electrode in. So we've decided to bring in Pepper here, our sock. Sock's not really... We're gonna do a great amount of damage to anybody along here, but that didn't matter. We're gonna eat up this U-turn very, uh, very well as the Infernape dis disappears. I love Infernape. I think he's absolutely fantastic. He's absolutely pumped. Anyway, we decide that um, upon seeing Pekins, we're gonna go for the Ice Punch. That's gonna be super effective on this shiny guy, and we kind of want to get rid of him. We want to get rid of him as soon as possible. Can we take off a decent amount of health? Yes, we do take a decent amount of damage off, and he goes for the knockoff, which actually does help us later on. He may knock off of our choice band, which means that we stay locked. We won't stay locked into Ice Punch, but it kind of could go both ways. We can now freely use any one of our moves here. We go for the Ice Punch, hoping for a crit. Unfortunately, we don't get it, so Earthquake comes in. We just want to hold on here, Pepper. We just want to hold on as much as possible and get at least another attack off and we do we hold on with hhp which was absolutely fantastic it could have gone either way if you got max damage we might have died i was predicting maybe a switch here so i decided to go for close combat we can't take another hit it doesn't matter if we get the defense drops either way we've only got eight hp we've got no means to cure our sock here so the sock is just gonna go all out power so i didn't mind that we we're gonna use close combat there now alpha comes in we should be able to outspeed but we don't um, I, my calculations were completely wrong. Infernape is actually really... It's not Infernape, is it? I called him that before. It's Primeape. Um, I went for the knockoff there because I wanted to try and... I don't know if he's got a choice band on or a choice scarf on. One of those things. Um, and he just U-turns out there. Becca comes in and I decide, if I remember correctly, to bring in Kitty Catcher or Mr. Mime. I wanted... What I was wanting to do with Mr. Mime was set up a uh, substitute and then start calm minding. That is exactly what I wanted to do. But Becca gets the first turn and we are very specially defensive bulky, but well, along with the substitute, we just we just take too much damage off there. Far too much damage. And the only way to sort of get out of this scenario now is to go for the psychic here. We want to get the psychic off and we want to try and kill his nine tails. And then we are in a very we're, we're in a pretty decent position if we manage to get rid of this nine tails. This substitute is gonna fade, thank you. Uh, Ennister here for destroying Kitty Catcher's poor substitute. And Kitty Catcher comes in here with a psychic and is going to wipe out Becca. The nine tails. Not bad. Kitty Catcher comes in for this battle and gets itself a win. Um, well, a kill anyway. So that's absolutely fantastic. The leftovers restores our HP a little bit better. But Kitty Catcher is pretty much done for. Unfortunately, the um, Primeape is going to come back in. It's just going to outspeed us. And I, I decided to sack off Mr. Mine here. I didn't want to bring in Ludicolo or Electrode at this point to take any unnecessary damage. Because we kind of both... They both need to be alive. So, this is my tactic. My tactic here is to bring Electrode in. It's the only thing I can do here. My 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 tactic here was I couldn't bring Ludicolo in. Ludicolo would die. We need to get the Rain Dance up. So we go for the Rain Dance, and I have hope and pray that he stays in, which he does, and I need him to one-shot me. I need him to one-shot our... Our electrode, you need to one-shot it with the Earth Power because then we're in a very, very good position. We've got four turns left, I think. Four four turns left. Yes, we do. We have four turns left of the rain. Ludicolo comes in. Ludicolo needs to kill this guy. I know he's going to switch out because he's four times weak to grass. But we go for the Giga Drain anyway, just in case. We need HP back. We can't have Alpha 
not dying, so we go for the Giga Drain, and I have to hope and pray it takes off over half HP, and it does! It takes off a huge amount of HP! We are in a massively amazing position here, because of the Swift Swim, because of the healing power of the Giga Drain, and the fact that we outspeed Alpha here, that Prime Ape has gone, and we have only got one Pokemon to take on. We have still got the Rain up, and you know, you know that Giga Drain! You know that Giga Drain is gonna be four times effective against the size of a Toad, so as long as he is a Focus Sash for some reason, we have got the win here. We go for the Giga Train. Party Boy Ludicolo is dancing about in the rain like he doesn't give a flying hoot. And he sucks up all of that HP. He's near enough back to maximum, even with the Life Orb recoil. And that Seismitoad has gone down. Ennistar, what a battle, mate. What a battle. I really, really like that. We both played absolutely. We played well. We both got a little bit of luck here and there, but we both played really well. I just, ah, I just feel, I'm just really happy that I managed to get that electrode switch to suicide, basically, and Ludicolo coming in with the swift swim and just absolutely wrecking house. Ludicolo has definitely been the, the party boy, has been the MVP so far um, of this tournament. I mean, that's two wins and two. Two wins and two for the Minnesota Jinx, and we are climbing up the board, which is absolutely fantastic. I've not checked out Swami's score yet, so maybe he's ahead of us, but if he lost, then we are top of the league, yo. We're top of the league. Either way, two wins out of two, which is absolutely fantastic. If you guys... um enjoyed this battle, then please hit a like. Make sure you go and check out Ennister's version of the battle um, from his point of view, and go and check out all the everybody else in the, the New Age Battle League. I'm having an absolute blast so far. Either way, guys, I've been Razbowski. You've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching, and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!